Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll learn how to read a text file line by line using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom, which is script.js. Read one div element, one input element. Type will be file. We need one text area to display the result. Save it. Go to style sheet. Select div element. Display will be flex. Flex direction will be column. Align items will be center. Select text area. Margin top will be 15 pixels, width will be 50%. Save it, open this file in the browser, and this is the output. Now let's try to understand how to actually work. I will pick one file using this choose file button. This will be the file, and I want to display all this text in this text area. So let's go to JavaScript file. Select the input element. Select the text area. Add event list to the input element. And event will be change the handler function okay now first of all we need to get all the files because we always have option to select multiple files using the input element so here i'll make use of files property now if files.length is equal to zero then i want to return because this means i haven't selected any file here, I'll make use of file reader object. So it will be new file reader. Now the first event for this will be on load. And these are the function which I want to execute. The first thing which you will do is try to get the text of the file. So let's make it file here it will be e target dot result now we need to read it line by line so i'll make use of split function here and i'll pass a regex so these are regex which i'm going to use now text area dot value will be equal to lines dot join method and I want to join it by the new line character that's it now here in case there is some error so there's an event on error I want to execute this function I simply want to show a alert message so it will be e dot target dot error dot name now here I'll call the read as text method on the reader object and pass the file here. Also, it should be file, not lines. Now, just save it, go to browser, select the file. Okay, so it's not working. Let me see what's the issue. Okay, we are passing a file variable here, but there's no file variable. We need to get the file and that file will be at the index position of zero so let's create file variable files index of zero i just save it go to browser select the file and this is the output so that's it i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day